Sixth grade math, solving for x. Daughter had lacked practice for 1.5 hours after school and says her brain is fried. I'm not good at math. Well, let's take a look. We are solving these two equations and notice that they have fractions. Let's start with the first one. We have 4 over 3 times x minus 3 is equal to negative 11. So what you want to do first is you want to get rid of this negative 3. And this is the negative 3. To get rid of that, you do the opposite, which is to add. Go ahead and add 3 on both sides, so that this and that can cancel. As long as you show all the steps, you will see that, you know, it makes sense. Minus 3 plus 3 is just 0, and then here you will just have 4 over 3 times x, and that's equal to, line out with the equal sign, yeah? and the negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8. Now, 4 over 3 times x is equal to negative 8. To get rid of the 4 over 3, we are going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal, namely, multiply by 3 over 4, the reciprocal of 4 over 3. And I'm just going to multiply it right here, 3 over 4. The order of multiplication doesn't matter, and it has a negative here, so that's why I put it at the end here. Doesn't matter. This way, you see that we can cross-reduce. 3 and 3 cancel, 4 and 4 cancel, and then we just get the x by itself. And then this right here is negative 8 times 3 over 4, and let me work that out right here for you. Put a negative 8 as negative 8 over 1, and then times 3 over 4. Again, we can cross-reduce. 8 and 4. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 two times, and the bottom is just 1, so it doesn't really matter anymore. So we have negative 2 times 3, and that will give us negative 6. So the answer for the first one is x equals negative 6, just like that. Now, for the second one, pretty much do the same thing. Here we have 3 over 5, x plus 1 equals 7. We have to get rid of the 1 first. That's minus 1 on both sides. Again, do the opposite, so that this and that can cancel. And we will have 3 over 5x equals 7 minus 1 is 6. Now, what do we do? The reciprocal both sides, right? So this is 3 over 5. We need to multiply by 5 over 3 on both sides. So that this and that, this and that can cancel. And we just get x equals, for this, we have 6 over 1 times 5 over 3. Cross reduce. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 6 two times. We can just do 6 divided by 3. You get 2 as well. Finally, 2 times 5 is just 10. And then over 1 doesn't matter. So the answer for this one is x equals 10.